Hi folks, uh, hope everybody's okay. It's good to be with you and I just want to talk to you about apologetics and being honest and consistent in your apologetics. And uh, I'm just going to pray. Father, we thank you for this day and for your goodness. And Father, I pray that you bless uh, this video for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget my website, jasonburnspreacher.com jasonburnspreacher.com and I uh, hope you're blessed by the website I was listening to a, a debate the other day between Lee, Le, William Lane Craig and Christopher Hitchens I just want to say that you know I think William Lane Craig is a is a, a tremendous an amazing man of God uh, a lovely man a uh, very able man and uh, a, a godly man uh, and I believe that he, he is a great apologist but I do think there is a need to be honest and consistent as a Christian apologist in, in this sense and, and I have to say I mean I'm not uh, throwing stones at my brother William Lane Craig I mean I've failed miserably uh, in my attitude to atheist in the past I have to say that I, I wasn't uh, as godly as I should have been so I'm not judging uh, a brother when I failed but this is not a, a personal attack on William Lane Craig it, it's a it, it, this is on it, an honest critical assessment of him and some other apologist in 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 this area who I admire and respect for the work that they do but I think that they undermine the, their apologetics uh, so like William Lane Craig, Lycona and Gary Habermas are great evidentialists and I really admire them and I really respect them and they've done some great work I mean Lycona's book on the resurrection is awesome uh, Habermas's work on the resurrection is awesome William Lane Craig's debate method is awesome so there's no doubt about it they've, they've done great work but all of them seem to think that conceding on evolution is a good thing and I don't think people buy it. I think people realize that that's a fudge. They also fudge on inerrancy. They, 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 they don't seem to be strong inerrancies. And uh, I, I find that you, you, you are undermining your apologetics if you're undermining the Bible. If you say, like Lycona, there is legendary material within the Gospel of Matthew. If, you, if you're not willing to defend inerrancy, like William Lane Craig is often not willing to defend, it undermines your apologetics. I think you have to be honest when you're debating people and say, you know, this is my position and I stand on it and I hold to it and that's it. And I think sometimes these issues of inerrancy and uh, creation and evolution the modern apologist christian apologist fudge it and and don't want to come down on creation side they don't want to come down on inerrancy side because they're frightened to, that they're going to lose the debate so I, i'm an inerrantist and i'm a creationist and i'm not ashamed of it and i think it's intellectually credible to state that and i'm not ashamed to say that and I don't think William Wayne Craig should be ashamed to say it, or Habermas, or Lycona. And if you are ashamed to say it, then people looking on know there's an inconsistency with your apologetics. That one minute you're saying that you believe in God, one minute you're saying you believe in the resurrection, but you're not saying that you believe the Bible is fully inerrant. You're not saying that the Bible's got it right on creation. And, and that's inconsistent. And my website is jasonburnspreacher.com and I hope that what I've shared with you is a blessing. God bless you and take care.